Hello and welcome to Dad Got This. And today we have another unboxing and product review. The good folks over at Armitor, 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 something like that. However you pronounce that, sent me a new digital wireless meat thermometer. I've been having some issues with my old one, so it's actually pretty good timing. We're gonna go unbox this thing, give it a look-see, put it through its paces, and cook a pork chop. Because in my opinion, that is the hardest thing to nail perfectly. Armander sent me this. I did not have to pay for it. I don't have to send it back. But they don't get any input on this video before it goes up. These are my true and honest opinions. Let's open this sucker up. I love wireless meat thermometers. I think they're just amazing when they work. Like I said, I've had some issues in the past with some of them. We have Armitor Smart Wireless Meat Probe. A few things I like about this. It has a probe that you can dock it. I don't think it takes uh, AA batteries, or maybe it does. I don't know. Probably should have done some research on this before actually getting into this video. But what fun would that be? It's well packaged. Sounds like a duck. Foam, just foam. Don't think there's anything in there I need to worry about. All right. Okay, it does take AA batteries. I'd prefer something I can USB charge. It's okay, we'll see how long they last. I like this little package, kind of all in one scenario here. It has a lock and unlock mechanism that opens up like a little suitcase. That's kind of cool. I like that. So you got your little thing there. Pop that open. Whoa. And there is our probe. And this is the important guy. This is the probe. This is what goes into your meat. And it's going to tell you all of the information. Assuming I'm going to have to download an app to make this bad boy work. All right, I got the probe. Just kind of sits nicely in there. There's a button. Push the button and lights blink. Let's read our manual. We're going to keep a safety line covered by the meat. Start a new cook warning. Heat resistance varies in different components. The ceramic handle is heat resistance up to 500 degrees centigrade, 932 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, do not put the probe needle part directly in the fire. Probes are not dishwasher safe. Kindly avoid submerging the probe in liquid. So basically they're saying, make sure the probe is completely covered because that's not as heat resistant as the ceramic part on the outside. Boom, 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 download your app, pair with your phone, launch the app, choose what you wanna do. I guess we gotta uh, download an app and uh, do a little work. But while we're doing that, let's prep our meat. I don't know if it's fully charged when we first get it. Guess we'll find out when we launch the app. We have some pork loin. For pork chops, I like to buy a big old pork loin from my local big box store. And then I like to cut my own pork chops because it comes out to be cheaper. The pork loin is cheaper per pound than the pork chops are at my local grocery store. And I can then cut them as thick or as thin as I want them. And if I don't want to have all pork chops, I can leave myself the little roast to cook later. I'm going to cut a couple thick boys for myself and then a couple thinner ones because the rest of the family does not like them as thick as I am. Whoa, I am kind of thick, but as thick as I do. So they like them a little bit thinner because I'm willing to tolerate a little pink in my pork chop. They are not. So for my thick boy pork chop, I'm going to cut it right from the middle here. And I'm going to cut myself a bad boy, like a two and a half incher. Okay. 
So that is my big old thick boy pork chop. That's that's a that's a big boy. That is going to be hard to cook through to the perfect temperature if you were just guessing. That's going to be a good test for the old armiter. The thin ones for the rest of the family, you can pretty much just cook very easily by looking at. Now let's go check and get everything downloaded in the app settings on my phone and get that all taken care of. The next step we have to do is to download the app. I'm on an iPhone, so I'm going to go over the iPhone version. On an Android, I'm sure it's pretty much the same. The back of the manual, there's a little QR code. Point your camera at it. That's going to pop up a little link. Click it, and that's going to bring you to your download. Pretty simple. Once the app's downloaded, we open it. It asks for access to your Bluetooth. Give it that. It wants to send you notifications. Allow that. For using, make sure it is fully charged and in the dock. Take the probe out of the dock to activate it. For multi probes, please power on the dock to activate it. Tap the plus icon to add a device. All right, so we need to, we have a single probe unit, so we are gonna open this guy up and take it out. and hit add device. Okay, I had to hit the button. Maybe it said to do that, maybe it didn't, but after I hit the little button, it did say armor one. And I'm gonna hit the plus button here. And it says we are connected. It says it's 79 degrees in my house. We keep it a little warm in here and I have a quick start set up where I could uh, go ahead and use it. All right, I think we're ready. Let's uh, season up a pork chop and get ready to cook. Are you enjoying this video? Well, there's a few simple things you can do to help me out. One, you could subscribe if you're not already. Two, you could give the video a like and hit that bell. All right. It's time to cook pork chop. We have the big boy. We're going to call him El Chapo. Seems fitting. And just because this is a test, there's no need to make it not delicious. We're going to do a tagine and lime pork chop. Sounds good to me. We're going to hit it with a little salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. A little bit of go. This is just granulated garlic and granulated onion, 50-50. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of tagine. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it properly, but that's how I'm going to say it. This is this cool, I think it's a Mexican spice. It's just got a very unique flavor. It's not very spicy. People put them on fruits and all sorts of stuff. I've had it on pineapple at Disney and it was pretty good. I threw some avocado oil in this pan. We'll get it ripping hot and we'll sear this bad boy off. Once it's seared off, we're gonna go ahead and throw the armature in it and then stick it in a 350 degree oven until it comes up to our desired pork temperature. I think I'm going to set off my smoke alarm. I'm gonna have to deglaze this pan really quick because... Okay, maybe those spices don't work very well for searing. I've never used tagine before. Apparently it burns like heck if you uh, cook it on too high of a heat. Lesson learned, take two. Put a little bit more oil in there and we'll try to get the rest of this seared. Thankfully I didn't set off the smoke alarm, almost. Maybe like a, a higher heat non-stick pan would have been good, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, what did I do wrong? All I'm going for is some color on this. And then hit it with the lime. At this point, we've got a nice looking color on it. Now it's time to fire up the armiter. We're gonna take this guy, hit start, pork. We're gonna go for a medium. I 
All right. All the way in. And we are ready. I have preheated my oven over there to 350 degrees. We're gonna stick it in there until it says it's ready. We got our done warning. So our pork is done. Let's go get it out of the oven. You're not dancing, aren't you? One tagine and lime pork chop. Yeah. It should be cooked to a perfect medium temperature. Since the temperature probe, the armator temperature probe has done its job, we'll go ahead and pull it out. There we go. To double check, I am gonna hit it with the old trusty thermopen and see what it says the internal temperature is. 146, bang on to the temperature that the probe said. The probe said it was 145, so it's rested a little bit and it's gone up, which is what's gonna happen. Food is done, time for the taste test. The armator did very well. Nailed the temperature perfectly, gave me my warnings, didn't lose connection. I was able to walk around the house. Everything worked pretty well. One thing I would like, I would like an early warning instead of just, it's done, that would be nice. Other than that, perfect. Let's see how this uh, tagine and lime pork chop tastes. Tahine. Oh, tahine, the, the expert tells me here. Cut down the middle to see how the temperature is. Ooh, perfectly pink. The kiddo wants a little extra lime on hers. Mm. I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right. Well, let me let me let me get a little bit of it. Are you gonna add some tahini? I'm gonna add a little bit of this juice. Fine. A little spritz of extra lime, and give it a taste. What about the tahini? That's right. I got it on there. Ooh, that is good. I would say that this was a success. Do you know that the hing is, is that you could put on fruits? Yes, it's great on fruits. I've had it on pineapple before. We'll do that in another video. Yep. Make sure you're subscribed and check that out later. A few more notes about the armator. Some things I uh, checked out. It is uh, good to like 227 feet. I walked around the house. I never lost any connection. It worked very well. One tip, make sure you leave the case aka the sending unit close to the probe if the case gets too far away from the probe then you will lose the connection between the probe and the case and it will stop working it tells you that when you first start your cook so pay attention to that i didn't and it stopped working the first time so user error other than that it's a great little unit. It says it'll last for 72 hours on a charge, so we can do like a long barbecue cook. Seems great. I am excited to try this out in future cooks and see how it goes. Stay subscribed. Make sure that you are uh, got your little notification bell on and everything like that so that you get notified for future cooks when I use this later. Kiddo, what don't I do? That doesn't do outros, so that's it. If you enjoyed that video, why not throw dad a good old like and subscribe and do the notification thing or leave me a comment about what your favorite part of this video was. That would really help dad out and you can go check out one of these other videos. I'm sure they're fantastic. I mean, I, I made them, so I'm pretty sure they're fantastic. All right. Yeah, do that stuff.